There appears to be quite a commotion. Um, sister, I've been wondering since yesterday, but what is going on in the outside world? <laughs> I believe you could say that those kids' ordeal is still continuing. An ordeal, you say? Yes. In other words, mankind's potential is being tested. Potential? Sister, where might Elizabeth be right now? Abandoning the duties given to us by our master and going out into the outside world is normally forbidden to us. Why did Elizabeth go through all that just to head out into the outside world? <sighs> I'm sorry. It was presumptuous of me to ask. I suddenly feel thirsty. Do you feel like drinking a cola? Uh, a cola, you say? My, don't tell me that you don't know what that is. Uh, of course I do. Elizabeth told me about it. An ebon monster compressed into a metal cylinder, waiting for the moment its prison is released to spring into the eyes of the unwary spewing foam. Uh, quite. Well then, I task you with the acquisition of about a hundred of these colas. You want m me to do this? B but cola only exists in the outside world. I merely ask for the cola. How and where you perform your task is at your discretion. Even if it takes you into the outside world. Oh. Um, sister. Yes, what is it? While I'm out... May I go see what's going on outside? That would be none of my business. All I asked you to do is go on an errand for me. Shouldn't you hurry? Our master will be returning soon. Y yes I'll go at once! <laughs> I guess it can't be helped that he's drawn to the outside world right now. This current aberrance in the outside world is centered on that red-haired guest and Persona users have gathered to it, as if caught up in that fate. Even my heart races just thinking about it. It's troublesome having siblings so brimming with curiosity. Are you all okay? I don't sense any enemies nearby, so please concentrate on regaining your strength. Right. Ow. Are you okay, Fukasan? You were only rescued a little while ago. Is it okay for you to use your persona so soon? Thank you. I'm all right. I'm sorry we dragged you into this. Oh, we just screwed up. We're really thankful you guys came. In any case, let's recover as quickly as possible so we can go after Labrys and the others. Yeah, I agree. Huh? Ah! A ghost! Ah! Why are you screaming? We're the ones you freaked out! Oh, I apologize. I was caught in the moment. Those clothes. They're very similar to the dresses Margaret and Elizabeth wear. Ah, so you are acquainted with my sisters. I am their younger brother, Theodore. Elizabeth? That really strong girl with the book? What's her family doing here? Well, my sister has given me a task, so I've come to the world outside. But along the way, I sensed the presence of Elizabeth nearby. And that's how you came out of this coffin? What kind of horror flick did we walk into? Um, Elizabeth is close by? She's tremendously powerful, but I don't sense her at all. Oh, she is most likely hiding her presence, so as to not hinder your journey. But I am certain that she will be watching over a battle around here. As evidence of this, please look here. There are potato chip crumbs in the bottom of this coffin, and in her favorite flavor at that. Well, if anyone was going to eat potato chips in a coffin, it'd be her. These guys are putting kind of a damper on the urgency of this situation. I like the local variety! 
with the beef flavor. Oh, I can't get enough. Can we stop talking about potato chips? Um, Theodore, right? We haven't run into Elizabeth. Yes, it seems I was just a tad too late. It's all right. There was merely a little something I wished to ask her. What's that? Upon closer inspection, it seems you're all quite wounded. Forgive me for asking so brazenly, but why is it you continue to fight even when you have been hurt to this extent? Why? Um... Are you asking why we're fighting? <gasps> oh! Oh! Um, uh, one moment, please. Hearing it from you would be too easy. I see. Could my sister have given me this opportunity to see the outside world to broaden my horizons? Um, are you all right? Ah, please forgive me. It seems I have a great deal to learn for myself. I guess he's kind of reached a conclusion. I'm sorry for causing you trouble. It seems this is a question I must answer on my own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be taking my leave. Huh? You mean you're going back? Yes. This conversation with you has been highly significant. Please, excuse me. What the hell was that just now? I've got no idea, but... Uh... Wait, what now? I'd almost forgotten. If you truly are in a great hurry to reach the top of this tower, then please make use of this door here. Well then? What door? That is a coffin! That was mysterious. Oh my! It seems we meet again, Labrys. You're... Theodore, right? Still looking for your sister? I don't think she's around here, though. No, I have stopped looking for her. Even had I found her, what I wish to know can no longer be learned from her. Mm -hmm. What I yearn for is something that I must discern for myself. You all have taught me that. Huh. I guess you've changed a little too, Theodore? Hmm. Do I seem so? Watching you has broadened my spectrum a bit. No, a great deal. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I figured something out during all this fighting, too. Oh? May I ask what that is? Oh, sure. It ain't anything mind-blowing, though. I just felt that the bonds you form with people get passed along and only keep spreading. I see. That is intriguing. Yukun and the others got hurt trying to save me. I want to save Shokun, even if it hurts me. We all keep button heads over and over. But the banner of friendship ain't just for show. It's what lets you go against someone while still trusting in them. My, how surprising. Your expression is completely different from the last time I met you. You, you think so? I can't tell for myself. There's no doubt. You've likely grown during these events. That must be it. Grown. While I watched you, I was thinking to myself as well. What is the reason you fight? What supports you? And what do you wish to protect through these battles? I have a feeling that I'm coming close to reaching the answer. 
even if I only have a faint idea for now. Huh? Doing something for someone else. All of you gathered here are connected by that common thread of emotion. You call them bonds, and those bonds guide you towards what you wish for. Our wishes. And my sister must have left that room with a wish, just like you. That is how I understand it. Thanks, Theodore. You're awesome. Huh? I'm... awesome? Is that so? Hmm. It does have a nice ring to it, though. Oh! I shouldn't be keeping you here. You're going to go fulfill your wish, no? Please, proceed. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Theodore. I wish you luck. What's this? Oh, it seems I was a moment too late. To think I missed an opportunity to see two tremendous powers clash. Oh, how I wish I could have witnessed it with my own eyes. Are you satisfied yet? S sister Why are you here? Is there some irregularity with my presence here? N no that wasn't what I meant. So, did you see Elizabeth? I, I wasn't out to find her. But rather, I was scouting the area in search of this cola you wished for. Uh. It, it's true. This is my proof. I did not think that this cola would be hidden in such a sturdy metallic box. Disassembling the box took some time, but I did so without breaking anything. I also inserted all the 10,000 yen bills I had before reassembling it. To think that the people of this world go to such lengths simply just to buy cola. I still have much to learn. It doesn't matter. So, were you able to take a look about this world? Ah, of course, sister. The people I encountered here exhibited much stronger powers than usual by trusting in these bonds between each other. I gather that the reason they display such powers is because they have a wish they desire along with the ones their bonds connect them to. I see. I'm surprised. You did rather well. Um, I think Elizabeth may have found such a wish as well. She has? What makes you say so? Perhaps it's only my imagination, but I sensed something while pursuing her. I thought Elizabeth might have found something she wants to do for someone besides herself. In other words, a wish of her own. Huh. Uh, sister? I see. Very well. So, what kind of bonds do you intend on exploring? Well, I believe we should first start by making a toast with this cola. I've heard that it is a sublime ritual performed by the people of this world to further strengthen their bonds. <laughs> I already worry about where you'll end up. Come now, Theo. Let's go back. P please wait for me, sister! <laughs> <laughs> 